What's up YouTube? My name is Smitty and welcome to my truck and travel channel. So I've had a few people ask how I made the back of my RAV4 into a little teeny camper. It's a pretty simple process. It only cost me about 150 bucks in wood and screws. If you don't have a drill, a circular saw and a jigsaw, those are the other three tools that I use. Uh, it might cost you a little bit more, but it's a pretty simple process. I filmed the majority of it. I was extremely tired and a little dehydrated, so I was trying to get done. And then when I got in the zone and I was just trying to finish, I, I forget the film or I forgot to change the camera angle so you could see exactly what I was talking about. But you can get a good feel for how I did it just by the clip that I have. I'm about to show you right now. And if you have any questions on how I did anything, and if I didn't cover a specific portion on what you wanted to see, just leave it down in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I see them. It takes me a little while because I'm traveling through Canada right now. But yeah, without further ado, let's get to it. So as you can see, I've done a little work. I put this, uh, the less, or Silas, however you want to pronounce it. It's sound detonator. Everyone knows these RAV4s are very loud. You can hear all the road noise. You can hear any bumps you hit. This kind of reduces the road noise, kind of reduces the vibrations, keeps all the sound in the car. Like they have amps and subs in your stereo. This stuff's really good. This stuff goes on stupid easy. You don't need a heat gun. You don't need any fancy equipment. It's literally a sticky material on the back and then this foil material on the top. And then all you do is lay it, cut out your template, peel off the thing, and then lay it on. And then you're good to go. It's really, really simple to, look, to apply. My next step is to build a little platform right here for some storage and then an overall platform on the top. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so what I just did is I used this shaker tool and I went around right down here, around the, the hump right here in the middle and I went around and I traced it onto a cardboard template. That way I can now put this on a sheet of plywood to give me a, the perfect measurement around the home. The next thing I did is I grabbed a flat board because I need to see how high I want it. I put some weights over here or anything heavy and then grab the level, grab your measuring tape, put it against the wood and then move it up or down, depending on your level. So it's about 11 and a half to make it even or flat. from over there but when I made this I counted for the weight in the carpet so as you can see the bubble is more towards the front that means when you put a weight on it it should level out just like that I don't know if you can see it over there but it's dead center now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a platform right here against the body of the vehicle kind of like what this piece of wood is right here and then there's gonna be a platform on the top that way there's a little storage underneath the platform I think this is the platform. I think this is a, a little piece of wood right here. So now I gotta get my measurements from here to the wood and then from this corner right here to that corner over there. All right, so what I just did is I made put another board on the back of this one that goes around that little arch in the middle that way this board will sit right here on this
just like that. Now it's supported in the back and now it's supported in the front. All right, so the next step, I'm gonna start laying my platform. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take out this little insert that's usually in the back of every RAV4 and I'm gonna trace it onto my new plywood, which is over here. I'm gonna get as close to the back as I can and kind of evenly centered on the board. And then I'm gonna take a marker and then trace around it. And then I'm gonna cut this back half to three feet exactly, and I'll show you where it goes. All right, a couple things about this back piece. Like I said, I took this and I trimmed it out, which is now this piece. But as you can see, you gotta make it just a tad bit longer so it can reach that center frame in your car, or in this car. <clears throat> and also, the thing that this rests on, you gotta cut out those little notches so the board will sit flat as you can see there's a notch here notch here a notch out right here and a notch out right here they are ugly right now i still got to sand them but yeah what i also did as you can see i cut a two by four because it fits perfectly between these two ramps this rear cargo area you can have the, the cargo floor right here or you can slide it under and it'll be down lower but what i did is i used a two by four slid it in there and that actually gives support to this back piece of wood. As you can see, it lays perfectly flat. And I also I drill just one screw through the center of the two by four. Thing ain't going nowhere and also it gives you access to your spare tire if you ever need it it's just one screw away all right so as you can see i got a little carried away and i stopped filming i cut this front piece i don't know if you can see how neatly it is around this trim piece, all I did is I took this board right here, laid it flat, just imagine this is gone. Actually, I'll show you, hold on. All right, so what I did to get that piece that I just took out, is I took a board just like this, laid it across to get exactly where I wanted on this trim piece, because everywhere you measure, it'll be different. So if I measure way up here, this angle will be different than the angle down here. Took this sacred tool, basically just measured it out, Traced it out on some cardboard, and that gave me my final piece. And I also put these two boards right here to basically box off this area. I measured from here, from the bottom to the top. Same thing on this side. I think it was four inches here and three inches here, so I just kind of sloped it down, screwed it down, and now we're good to go. Now I'm gonna sand down everything, this bottom, this top, this piece, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna carpet this bottom piece. I don't know if I'm gonna carpet the top. But yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, so I pulled everything out the RAV and I layered it with a carpet to lessen the road noise along with the uh, sound detonator. I figured it was nice two layers. This is what it looks like. I pulled the tire out, I pulled all the wood out and I laid a nice carpet that kind of matches the factory pretty good. It's not picked up very well in the camera, but it matches it pretty good. And I laid the spare tire right on top of it. I still gotta make it look a little prettier, but the majority of the time you won't even see it. All right, so after I made the three dividing pieces, I took a two by three and cut it in half. That way I can have a little ledge. I don't know if you can see that. 
that way I can cut the center board in half and I have enough that it can sit on with the piano hinge. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna carpet these three boards right here. That way it'll look pretty, pretty good. Here it is with it carpeted. All right, so as you can see, I've been a little busy. The last time you saw this piece, it was just one piece, but I wanted to make two separate flip ups. As you can see, this is the base. It'll flip up here and it'll flip up here because of these two separate piano hinges. And how I did that is I measured this entire thing, found the center point. I found piano hinges that I liked. These are uh, a half inch wide. So I made this little slit one inch. So from the center point, I took a half inch here and then a half inch going that way. And then I cut it all the way down on both lines. And then I screwed some piano hinges on that. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like in the vehicle. All right, I haven't screwed it down yet, but this is the general idea. You'd put some screws right here. I don't know if you can see those. I already pre-drilled some holes. And now I'll have a cubby on this side and another cubby on the other side. As you can see, it's a fairly simple build. I'm 225 pounds, I'm 6'2 and a half. So it holds me perfectly. My feet kind of hit the, the seat just a little bit, but I'm usually curled up in a ball when I'm sleeping. <laughs> I sleep like a little kid, but it's very sturdy. It's not moving. Um, this plastic uh, sticker vinyl crap that I put up here, it really, really does not hold up to the abuse very well, as you can see. I was helping my sister move and I was dragging things in and driving, dragging things out. And it kind of just took the sticker crap right up. But yeah, everything else is pretty solid. Doesn't move, haven't had any issues. And yeah, I really like it for the simplest build I could possibly have in a car. If you have any questions, like I said, just leave them in the comments. I'll get to them as soon as I can. If you like this video, please smash that like button. And like every YouTuber says, please subscribe right down below. It helps me grow and it helps YouTube know that I'm putting out content people wanna watch. But yeah, I'll catch you on the next one.